what's up what's good it's heather the original original hey everybody hey how are you doing good i pray that you are um yeah i don't have a lot to say other than hi miss y'all <laughs> if you're returning to me i appreciate it hey hi if you're new here well Thank you for stopping in and seeing what's up with me. It'd be appreciative of my channel if you hit that subscribe button. Please, no cost to you, just helps my channel grow. Thank you, I appreciate you. And, you know, tonight I'm doing, you know, a little bit of a fish Friday. I got some fish from Long John Silver's. <laughs> you heard me, shrimp. I made homemade spaghetti now. Homemade spaghetti and a little homemade salad. Yes. I, I um, miss y'all. And I wanted to come and join y'all for a meal. And I already said my prayer off camera and did my thumbnail already. So I'm just ready to get it in. I pray that everybody's doing okay. You know, I got a little bit to talk with y'all about. <sighs> Nothing bad. I don't think more like informative or questionable or whatever but yeah I'm, you see me about to get it in because i'm hungry as usual i'm hungry i'm ready to get in okay okay mm. i have you know what well, i may i'm mad at myself because i've been watching my 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 mega friends i just haven't been commenting i've been liking their vids same been commenting Although I want to, but I keep watching on t my TV and I comment on my phone. You know, if you have your phone, it's easier to comment. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know that you're probably thinking, where's your garlic toast? Yeah, no, this was like a really savory meal to me. And I want something sweet to go up against the, all the savory in it. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like that, y'all, tonight I'm hungry. But anywho, how y'all been? Been taking care of yourself and doing okay? I know it's Easter weekend. Yep. You have any plans? Me? I do not. I forgot it was Easter weekend. I actually just got reminded of it today. Mm, no. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay. If y'all are males that watch me, I'm sorry about what I'm about to say. I'm not really sorry about it. It's just my experiences. And for women, you don't want to hear about another woman scoring or. Another one was that, I understand. It is what it is. I've had a lot of things going on with my family this week. I'm not going to disclose of my family thing on here right now. Because it just occurred. And, mm, I'm still in my feelings about all that. Damn! I'm gonna have a good time. No. Mm -hmm. But y'all. Yeah. I've been dealing with so much male testosterone. I'm over it. For real. 
I told y'all. Mm. That's why I added Bila's hot sauce to my homemade spaghetti. Good. But the current person I'm talking to is more or less, you know, kind of the reason why I haven't been filming. Probably not by its own accord, but have you ever been around somebody that makes you feel like, you know, like if you're not at the top of your game all the time, every day, all day, you ain't worth anything. You know, not it. I don't think he realized it, but you know, every time I stepped in front of the camera, he pretty much instructed to me to be fully faced, fully dressed, you know, which is another reason what made me panic in front of the camera. It made me, other than what I told y'all before when I did my Taco Tico video, but also what was hindering me was this feeling of making me feel like if I wasn't 1,000% in front of you guys, I shouldn't film. You know, like I wasn't good enough to film. And y'all know me. Well, some of you do, some of you don't. But and I've seen tons of nut bankers, especially women. Well, mainly women. No, no. Women too. Just because we don't get all made up doesn't keep us from having a meal with you. <laughs> you know? It doesn't keep us from wanting to see you and talk to you or whatever. But so it made me feel like, you know, unless I got in front of the camera completely made up, you know, what am I doing, you know? And I don't think they meant to make me feel that way. It's just how they presented it. Made me feel like I wasn't good enough for my own channel. <laughs> well, that Taco Chico video, I did. I had the courage to say, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. And then my sister ends up, well, I don't really want to call her my sister. <laughs> but as technically she is, but made me feel that way. And it took me a lot to make that video. But I had had enough at that point. I was like... You know, I just want to do me and be how I am. Sometimes I'm made up, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> Majority of the time, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, let's get real here. I'm your typical woman, you know. I, I work from home, so I don't really have to get made up every day if I don't want to. I usually only get made up usually when I'm either coming on here and that's when I feel like it. Or if I'm going out with friends, family, you know, something like that. Which to me seems pretty normal. I don't know what, I mean, there may be tons of women and there is nothing wrong with that. If they have the energy to get up every day, do their hair and makeup every single day, as soon as they get up, more power to them. That's amazing. Uh, that's just like, do you. But to some of us who just like, I do a lot and I'll be tired and Sundays I just don't have it in me to do all that. But I'm still having a meal. And sometimes I just want to turn the camera as is, which I have done, which I do. Which I've just recently started to get back the courage to do. You know, as is. And just be who I am for you and talk to you. And when someone makes you feel like that's not good enough or that's not what people want to see, it, it, hurt, it hurts you. 
hurt your self-esteem? My self-esteem was like kind of crushed a little bit. You know, I'm like, my channel's not going to grow. Or... Serenity. Or my cat, maybe. Or people aren't going to be into me if I'm not all bent up. Which is weird because, I mean, I'm just, I mean, that's weird to me. Because I ain't never said I was anything other than just Heather. <laughs> Being made up is just a fun thing. It's fun. I'm a girl. I'm a girly girl. I like playing in hair and makeup. It's fun. And when it's not fun or I'm too tired and I don't want to do it, I don't want to feel pressured that I should be doing it. You know, the only people to me that would get pressured in doing stuff like that is like a model or something. <laughs> Where their whole life is that. <laughs> I mean, their job, rather. That's different. I guess. But, just your average Joe like me, I'm like, I just do it when I feel like doing it. But, you know. I just take, I had to take a step back from that person. And regain my confidence back. To just enjoy being Heather. And for y'all, Heather the original. <laughs> you know, I had to go back to being the original Heather. <laughs> and enjoying what I do with you guys. And, and I know I'm being messy. <laughs> and remember what I built this channel for? And who and what I am. And maybe that person just wanted more for me. Maybe they. I want to assume the nice stuff that they probably just were. Have my best interest at heart maybe. And just wanted to see the show be you know successful. Which is great. And I took it at that at first. I did. I said, like, oh, goodness, you know, they're right. I need to be this and that. It's just, I really wasn't ready for all that. No. Nah. Any more sauce on here, guys? I wasn't ready. I am still a very very sensitive frame of mind. And when I do something like this, to me, it's, like I said, it's more therapeutic. It's more for leisure. It's more for a, um, just a memory, you know. Something I know I share with my baby. before I lost her, so. That's what it's more about. And I'm, through that person's eyes, I lost focus of it. Because they didn't see it how I seen it. You know. This so here's my baby. You know. My baby. And I would like to do things how I feel comfortable. 
it's hard to be. Uh, I can see now how you can be in a new relationship and lose yourself. But I've seen people talk about that before. And I've never experienced it. And now that I have, I kind of get it. How you can kind of lose yourself just so quickly. I mean, it happens really quick. You don't even realize it's happening. Oh, man. Watch that show about the bark. Trailer. Shiloh. The neighborhood. Let's just say she's a person that's, she walks around the neighborhood, I mean, she lives in the neighborhood. And let's just say she's a person that's very happy all the time. <laughs> I don't wanna be disrespectful and call her a certain name, I could, but let's just say she's happy all the time. Mm. My point of telling you that she's walking down the street and Shadow was in the crate about to bark at her because she can hear her singing and tell us how happy she is. Which is nice to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe more of a natural happy, not so much of a synthetic happy. <laughs> I know I'm dancing around it, but I'm sure y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> I just don't want to you know, say it on here, but yeah, she's happy. But anyway, but yeah, you just, you don't realize that, yeah, I'm going to have to get serious again, but you don't realize that you have gone down that rabbit hole and you can't blame the other person because the other person, I think, I don't know if all the time, but most of the time has your best, they think they have your best interest at heart. They really do. I really feel like, mm, you know, I'm looking out for her or him or whatever. You know. Yeah. I don't know what they mean. But really, all they're doing is just trying to change you to turn you into what they think is plausible is, is feasible or plausible or how you should be you're like hold up wait a minute i'm, I'm too old for somebody be sitting there trying to change me mm -hmm. i think i sit back and say wait i am who i am you know if you feel the need to change me then I'm not the person for you. It's not that complicated. At our age, you know, we, we're kind of like, not rocket science. If I got to get a relationship with you or get, be around you, and I feel compelled to constantly change who you are as a human being, especially at this age in your life and in my life, then clearly I don't like who you are. <laughs> I mean, it's a kind of a blunt way of saying it, but it's the truth. I mean, I guess you could be flattered because they see the potential in you, maybe. Seeing if what they want for you is, is quote unquote better than who you are right now. And they maybe see the potential in you, but what makes you better than you are right now? Is it just money? Is it, I mean, what, what is it? How come you're not satisfactory to them? Uh, is it weight loss? Mm. Or weight gain, like muscle, like a man, maybe he's too penny. And she wants a physically fit man. So she gets a man that she likes, and but he's just not physically attractive. So she harps on him and get, has him join a gym, pays for him to join a gym and, 
encourages, gets him a trainer and says, here, you know, get in the gym. You're going to do all this. And the man could be like, well, you may not like my physique, but I was comfortable with my physique. <laughs> you know, like I was, I was fine being who I was. And she's like, oh, no, surely you wouldn't look like them. And you're like, he might be like, well, if that's what you want, go get it. Go be with them. And so, that's how I begin to feel. In my relationship, like, if I'm not good enough for who I am now, I have no desires to be those people of what you're envisioning for me. And if you feel like that's better, and it very well could be, I mean, who wouldn't want more money? You know, who wouldn't want, you know, a, a better lifestyle, which equals money? Who wouldn't want those things? It's not saying that people don't want to upgrade themselves, upgrade their lives or do better, of course. That's normal, have goals. But I think someone coming in and making you feel instantly that, oh yeah, you definitely can do, you definitely worth more than that. You're definitely, I'm gonna better you. It, it's, it's almost like an insult. I don't know how to describe it, but it is. You feel insulted. Especially when they automatically do things and everything you do, mm. let me do this, let me do that. You know, and if you're not a person that's used to someone doing that, you're gonna feel insulted. You don't feel like they're better than you, you feel like they're insulting you. Like, okay, wait. I never said that I wanted this done in my house or I never said that, you know, where I, you know, even always like down, you know, where you go to have fun. Oh, those people there are terrible. Those people there are no good. And you're sitting around like, um, those people there that I go and have fun at an establishment are just like me. Um... They don't dress any better than me or look any different than me or I seem to just go out, have drinks and enjoy themselves like me around my age. How's that wrong? Oh, not you though. Not you, but them, they're, you know, they're bad. And, and you're like, um, well, I've never had not one single issue when I'm around them and we seem to all have a good time and vibe very well. But everything that you've done or everything you presented in your life to this person, they've downplayed it. Oh no, really, I'm gonna take you somewhere better, different. It, it begins to degrade you. Like, okay, so where I have fun isn't good enough. My house looks like it ain't good enough. How are my hair ain't good enough? How I dress ain't good enough? How I do my show ain't good enough. You know, it, you just, you feel so degraded. <laughs> and you already felt, especially someone like me, who's already in a grieving state of mind. And yeah, I've been in out of unsuccessful relationships, in a grievable state of mind. Just trying to have a little something and then someone come in that you think that's gonna be you know, wonderful for you in your life, they turn out to just want to degrade you or tear you, almost tear you down in a weird way. And they don't even, and they may not really grasp that they're doing that. They really maybe think that, oh no, I mean, I could see if I was a millionaire and I had a lot of money or something and I meet a person that didn't have that much money, but I really liked them, or I thought I liked them and I knew everything in their life was so like, oh, you gotta want better than what you're doing. If you're working at McDonald's or you're, you know, I don't know, living in a studio apartment and drive a little hoopty, oh God, you know, I'm sitting over here 
you know, living like this, you've, but you're just so cute and, you know, so nice that I, I think you deserve more than that. But what if that person says, you know, I never asked you for any of those things. I was content where I was. You know, I wanted to earn those things of my own accord. Or, you know, um, I don't need to about, you know, I just who I am. I like going to play hoops with the neighborhood dudes. I, I, I like to go and play dominoes down the road. I like to go, you know, I'm enjoying myself. I'm fine in my life. I'm content. I didn't, I didn't need you to do all that. I don't want to be with the uppity uppies, you know, like. <laughs> You know, some people don't want that pressure. Some people just are like, man, I ain't, I don't want to be in your world. Your world is for you. That world ain't for me. I, I'm enjoying doing what I'm doing. I'm fine. I'm content, you know. And that's okay. I'll be all right. And I know that person will be all right. I probably have tons of people standing in line waiting to be, you know, upgraded. I'm content and it makes me just me getting in front of the camera tonight just for the first time in a few months that I felt like myself again and I felt comfortable with you guys again and talk to y'all like I normally would and wow that means a lot to me because you know I don't have that I don't feel that pressure I was feeling to be something I wasn't or something I wasn't ready to be yet and who knows, I maybe never will be ready to be that or whatever, but whatever that is. But thanks guys for listening. And if anybody's in my position, you know, speak out, say something. You know, some of us just, I guess, don't mind being average Joes. How is it? Average Joe, that's a man's thing. How can, average Josephine. <laughs> I'm just an average Josephine, okay? And part of me, I guess, is content that way. <laughs> um, I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole, you know. I'm just, I, I guess I like being mellow. It's like being Heather, man. Um, I love just, just being around my kids and grandbabies and chilling, doing my little job, doing my little channel, how I, how I enjoy doing it. When it finds its success, it will find its success. I'm content with that. I'm cool with that. I can rock with that. Um, but all that stuff, man, mm -hmm. I'm cool. I'm good. Mm -hmm. But I love you guys. And what? Mwah. I'm here. I'm always here. I ain't going nowhere. Uh huh. Thought you can get rid of me like that. Well, you ain't. You ain't. I ain't going nowhere. But please, 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 if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The notification bell let you know when I drop a vid. Like the video, thank you. Comment, let me know you did all that work and share it if you'd like to. I appreciate you guys. I ain't gonna say the words, but I think I have a feeling you're gonna see me very, 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 very soon again because I, I feel more like to myself. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. <laughs>